Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, little water montage that I put together at the beginning of the video. Um, we rolled over in uh, from lakes, uh, from liquid water to lakes, and I was doing stuff, and I looked out there, and I go, there's waterfalls. So <laughs> I thought it might be cool to kind of take a tour of, um, you know, mostly of the, the ice plains and, and how the water's coming, because that's all new content there um and then yeah so we ha had some fun with that um i uh i ended up cutting the in-game sound all the way out because i didn't want the jetpack roaring for the whole time there so i had to download some <clears throat> different water sound clips and put it all together and it was, it was kind of fun to do uh so anyway let's see what are we gonna do in this episode we uh we got a ton of things to do it's just a matter of 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 what we're going to do. I think a couple more things may have unlocked since the last episode. So we've now have the tier four drill. So yeah, we'll do that. And we're on our way towards the tier four heater and we got the machine optimizer now. So that's good, but we need fuses before we can do anything with that. And then if we look in the bio area, oh, uh, the tier two algae generator unlocked. And I think that's it. I think those are the, the things that I have unlocked since the last episode. All right, I launched another rocket as well. Oh, and I put in a whole mess more of food growers, as you can see uh, in here too, with most of it growing eggplant because we're going to need that to uh, make a bunch of fertilizer. So, and I put in, I, I don't know if I had put that second tier two nuclear reactor uh, in place on camera or not, but we have two of those. So our power is currently sitting at 72 kilowatts, which isn't a lot. So we'll probably need to be making another one of those fairly soon. And uh, I don't have enough uranium for three more rods to do that. So we'll have to figure that out. There are a couple caves, um, and one of them I actually showed you way over there that we went through that we can um, use to uh, get some more uranium and or we can also you know, launch a rocket. I, w I ended up putting another extractor down in the iridium cave, which is just right down there beyond the edge of that plateau. And I took the one that was in the iridium cave way over there, and I moved it over to the sulfur field. So uh, it's producing sulfur for us. All right. So let's see here. You're loaded up. So let's get all you all of that out. Oh, and I put another uh, water collector up there, too. So now we have two of those going. and we can get to both of them from down below here, which is nice. Let's put this stuff away here. Uh, you're fully loaded, you're fully loaded, and you're fully loaded. So we'll put all this stuff in the overflow. That overflow is now full, so we'll put even more in there. Okay, so I think, um, what do we need to make the tier two algae spreader? I would be interested in doing that. Um, bioplastic nuggets would be the hardest thing there. We do have some super alloys there, so we're good to go on that front for the moment. To make bioplastic, I know we need mushrooms and something else. Mushroom, silicon, and water. Um, do we have four mushrooms? Yes, we do. Look at that. Okay. So we we'll have those, and we need silicon and some... Some more water. So grab two silicon and water from you. That was a little bit trickier to grab. <clears throat> I don't remember if that was one water or two, so let's just grab a, a couple of more. And one more. So it's just one water. Okay. Uh, the tier two algae generator is, it puts out a lot more than the tier one. Like tier one does like three or four. The tier two does eight to 10, I think. It's quite a bit more. So definitely want to get that going. We'll put, let's drink that right now. All right. What else do we need for this? We need a FERT, a mag, and two supers. Um... Do I have what I need to make a furt? 
I think so, yeah. We have um, algae in here. So we need a sulfur, or one sulfur, and I think two eggplant. That's why we need so much eggplant for this stuff, because we'll, we're going to be making tons of this stuff. Okay, so now we just need a mag and two supers. One magnesium, two super alloy, and how much power is this thing going to use? It's going to use 32. Yeah, we're good. All right, so <clears throat> question now is where to put it. Uh, we could keep trying to use this little pond over here, I suppose. Um, it's a little bit on the shallow side, though. It'd probably work okay. Yeah, see, we only got three algae off of that guy. Let's just put it there. Okay. That should work. It is my intention, and I believe I did tell you guys this, that we're going to set up an, an algae production. Well, more specifically, probably like a fertilizer production uh, chain over at the starting area lake. When the time comes, uh, we can't really get started in earnest with with, you know, uh, automated production until we get the auto crafter and the drones. And how far away are those two things, by the way? Let's see here. I don't... Orbital bio DNA manipulator. Yeah, auto crafter's quite a ways... <laughs> a long ways away, actually. So we won't be doing that anytime soon. Yeah, that's, that's quite a ways out. Oh, what about the drones? Um, when and where did those unlock? I don't see it there. Biomass, orbital. Hmm. I wonder if that's a blue chip, uh, or I mean a, a microchip thingy. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's even further out. Yeah. Okay. Going to be a while. Going to be a while before we get to that stuff. But that's okay. There, we're enjoying the journey. How come I have those? Oh, because I just picked them. Duh. <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, that we had picked them and consumed them, which we did, but then we picked three more. All right. Let's see. What do we want to do now? Um, do we have any new messages? Yes, we do. Actually, we got quite a few new messages. All right. Let's see what Riley has to say. Hello. I finally managed to locate the system they sent you to. I don't have much time, but I'll try to give you some advice. The success rate for Planet Crafters is very low because... Uh, it is an almost impossible task. You should find space food in your pond, and maybe in Space Rex you'll be able to grow food when you meet the correct requirements. So try to find some vegetable seeds. Exploration improvements are essential. Explore and improve your equipment to increase your chances of survival. I hope this message reaches you. Now, the thing that I've always found funny about the Riley messages is he's some person that apparently we knew in the past or something, is by the time the game sh you know, sends you this message, you're already well well into it, and you already know all this stuff. So uh, I'm surprised they didn't fix that in 1.0. Oh. You know, you should have this message right from the get-go. Anyway, whatever. Um, I managed to obtain more information. I read that it, you have a greater chance of success if you build your base at an altitude. I'm not sure why yet. Well, we know why. And if you manage to heat the planet up, some of the caves should melt. Okay, so here again, this is stuff that should be coming to us, like, right from the beginning of the game for, you know, someone who's new and doesn't know about it anyway. Um. This message is from a different convict. To whoever receives this message, I'm a planet crafter sent to the Megoria 3 planet. If you've received this, it means you are near. Maybe you are a planet crafter as well. The weather is atrocious and I'm running out of resources. There is not enough on this barren world to terraform it. I don't know why I chose this. Death would have been more pleasant than this hell. If anyone can send me help, please do. And then another message from Riley. Use ore extractors in different areas. Rockets are important to help boost your generation. And then a bunch of gar garbledy goop there. Uh, now we have a message from <clears throat> Private Scavenger. Oh, we already read this. Yeah, this was from the um, the the little you know kind of j fighter jet spaceship down there. 
Uh, we, so we read that the other day. But the cool thing about anything you read out in the world is it is then recorded here, so you can refer back to it later if you want to. It's good stuff. Um, all right, so let's see here. What, um, I guess we should probably get started on some tier four drills. And uh, before we do that, though, we're going to need more power because these guys use 54 energy a pop, but they also generate 367 pressure. And one of these is worth almost 20 of these. It's crazy how much it goes up. Yeah, I can see 10 of these would be 130, so 20 would be 260. Uh, this is almost, Jesus, yeah, this is almost worth 30 of these. One of these for 30 of these. Wow. Okay, do we have, um, do I have any osmium? I don't. That's a problem. All right, we're going to have to go get some oz. Uh, we can do that, though. Uh, it is in some caves that are open and available to us now. So we're going to have to get some oz to, do, to get that thing, because the thing about the tier three drills is there's nothing about them that you can recycle to go towards the tier four, because this is completely new material. It's also going to require six supers, uh, which we have. Okay, so we have enough supers to make one of those. And, you know, I don't know, maybe... Okay, so 10 of these is going to use 100 energy. One of these is going to use only 54, so almost half of the energy, and it does 30, almost 30 times the amount. So from an energy perspective, it's probably best for us to tear those down and just get those resources back. But we won't do that until we have the first Tier 4 drill set up. We also needed to do this, but we were waiting on... Uh, oh, that's right. We were going to do this. Can I make... Okay, we're going to need a total of 12 algae to make two ferts and two bacteria samples. Which we will get once the, that Tier 2 finishes. It could even be done now. It grows pretty fast, but we'll give it a little bit more time, and then we'll check that later. Okay. Let's go see how our food's doing here. We'll grab all these eggplant because we're going to need them for ferts. We need the mushrooms for uh, bioplastic. And we need to find some more mushroom seed as well. That's a nice little amount of eggplant. Almost a full, uh, full crate of it, which is great. Okay, so first order of business is to get... Uh, yeah, we, we probably just plain need to put another nuclear reactor up, especially if we're going to also do the Tier 2 Biodome later on in the episode, which I would like to do if we can make that work. So that means we need to come up with, um, let's see, we have 15, 16. So we need a total of 27 uranium to make three more yod, uh, yods, rods, yods, rods, rods, yods. Let's go get some food. And uh, we're going to set out. We're going to head to both of the uranium caves, and we're also going to hit some osmium caves. Let's grab all the water out of there, all the water out of there. Put them all in here, except for take. Let's take a couple water with us. And since we're going to be out and about, we might want to take... Um, let's take some more oxygen too. We'll eventually be able to make a machine that will generate oxygen as well as other gases, but uh, we're not there yet. So, all right, let's do this. Um, I guess we'll go to the uranium cave all the way out in the, the wetlands area or whatever the hell that place is called. We'll do that first. And I am also strongly considering building another base maybe even our our um like our home 
you know, home, like where we live and sleep and eat and watch football and stuff like that. I don't know. Can we watch football on Planet Crafters? We should probably put some more heaters up in here, too. Um, over here at this area that I took you guys through in the montage, it's just gorgeous. And, you know, this is supposed to turn into a lush biome. That's what it says in the beginning of the game. So, you know, you you start throwing in lush biome on top of these gorgeous waterfalls and stuff, and this is this place is cool. Um wonder if we should start hitting crates. But yeah, we, we got this this really you know relatively deep lake here. I mean th this is super deep, so it'd be perfect for a big algae farm. But the thing is is I probably wouldn't do a whole lot in this area in the way of um, putting machines up. This would be where we would live. Look at the view from up here. Isn't this just gorgeous? I mean, we did see this once before, but that was before we had the water. Yeah, so we might just do that. This might be our, our home, our cozy home base in the long run. The base we're at now is kind of more of like our functional base. This is the cave that had the magnetar or yeah, magnetar quartz in it. There's some crates in here. Um I think we will probably start checking crates, but I'm not going to do it right this moment because we need to bring back a big load of uranium and osmium. But after that, I think we'll we'll go ahead and start working on hitting some crates. All right, so we're going to drop down into the canyon here. And this here is There's another cave over here. I think this is called the Rainbow Caverns. And the reason I think that is because when I poked my head in here earlier, I got a a steam achievement that said Rainbow Caverns. And it's got pulsar quartz in it, which is really good. It looks like maybe magnetar quartz too. Yep. Very cool. I like it. What about over here? Oh, that just goes out, out of the cave. Okay, so yeah, let's go back into the um, this other cave that has a uranium in it. Later on, we will probably put a tier three or maybe even a tier two extractor in here. When the time comes. So, you know, even though we hand mine all the uranium, the Extractor can still get more of it. Nothing down there. Oh, there's a bunch more over here. Is that... I don't know what that noise is. Is that water? It must be. I didn't know there was water in this... Huh, yeah, there must be water up there. Interesting. Hmm. I'm curious to see how well the tier three flashlight's gonna work. Uh, which of course is new with this update. The tier two is definitely better than the tier one, but even it's not really, really good. Uh, 
Um, wasn't there one more section? This place is kind of confusing. Where did we get everything? Came back through here. There's a chest. I don't see anything up there. Can't get through there. Okay, I guess I picked it all up. Okay. Well, that's definitely one more rod. I'm going to pick up some more cobalt to make some more O2 when we get over to our our shed. There's no water over here yet, but this will eventually fill up with water too. And it's uh, just gorgeous over here when you get to the, you know, towards the end of the game when all the trees and plants and everything are around. How much space do we have? What I think we'll do is we'll stop over here. Uh, wait a minute. No, that is the... That's the super alloy cave, which we're not actually doing anything with at the moment. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, let's pop through the little pass there because right on the other side of that pass is where I have the sulfur. And we can just load up the rest of the way on sulfur because because we can stop at the base because it's on the way to the other uranium cave this area right here will eventually fill with water as well our operation up here we'll put the the basic stuff in here all right um we need to bring back some iron and titanium let's just bring back some titanium Okay. All right, let's head back to the base, drop this stuff off, and then we'll head over by the Stargate to get uh, hit the other uranium cave. And then any uranium we need after this until we can... Oh, do you see that water just start to kind of pop in there? That's funny. Uh, any uranium we need after this will have to come from rockets until we can get uh, to the Tier 2 extractor, which can get uranium. run up here and drop off the sulfur first. We have almost a full chest of sulfur. That's good. Uh, put some... Oh, I guess we had a full thing of titanium. Should have brought iron back then. Oh, well. All right, let's grab as much of this as we can carry. Uh, what do we need? We need water. Which is all of it now. And make one, two, three, three rods. Well, that's actually enough to make our next generator. Um, I don't think. We need, we need one super for that. One super for that. And six supers for that. So we need a total of eight. <laughs> Look at that. We have eight. Okay. We have exactly how many we need. 
Um, oh, we just need one, needed one for that. Okay, so you're gonna need uh, two water and an explosive powder. Uh, we need an iridium for explosive powder. And, a, and two sulfur, I think. Or maybe it's the other way around. Nope. We have the sulfur, or I mean the uh, explosive powder. And then what was the other thing we needed? Uh, just two more water. All right. Put all this water in here. We need two for the thing and one for us to carry. Uh, no, three. Let's stop off over here, too, and grab another thingy of food. And you guys are 90%-ish or so. Yeah, that's good. All right, we'll, put up, we'll set up our, our third uh, T2 nuclear reactor. And that should give us a nice little um, supply of power there. Um. All right. So what we need actually now is osmium, and we, yeah, we need osmium. So I'm trying to think. There's a few different places we can go to get it. Um, I was gonna go to the other uranium cave, but I don't know if I will now, just because. We're kind of good on uranium for the moment. So why don't we... Let's go this way. The cave, though, that we're going to take... I, I might have actually already picked the uranium in that cave. I don't remember. I guess we'll find out. I, I'm sorry, not uranium. I meant osmium. That is what I meant. Whilst we're over here, we'll refresh our aluminum extractor. leave the aluminum here for now too just so we have maximum space starting to see some green on the ground the moss is coming in I like that you know that passage there actually goes right to that uranium cave but uh, we don't need that right now I think maybe we took that once already. Okay, there is some Oz in here. Maybe it was the... Maybe I picked up most of the sulfur in here. That's probably what it was. Not worried about the iridium. I'll just grab this. And we might hit that crate, depending upon how much space we have left after we pick all these. Um, there we go. We'll grab that piece of sulfur too, because why not? Is that... What is that? I don't know. Not sure. out. This comes back here to a dead end. I did get that right. If you pull away too soon, then you don't actually get the ore.
Um, okay, I'm trying to remember. Is there anything up there? It definitely looks like a place where they might hide something. Yes, there is. Look at that. There is indeed. All right, we're going to open this chest. Good stuff. We'll take it. We still have four more slots left there. How much Oz do we have? We've got uh, 12. Okay. That's actually enough for two tier four drills. All right, that goes out to here, which we don't really need to do anything with that place right now. Let's pop this open and see what's in there. Um, okay. We'll take this, 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 and this, and we'll leave the rest of that. Um, no, put the iron in there and grab, uh, I guess, one of the squash seats. Yeah, I like that plan. Okay, cool. All right, I'll meet you guys back at the base. We got water at the Stargate. Very cool. Alrighty, we are back home. Let's go up here and put the sulfur away first. Look at that. We have a surplus of sulfur. That's a good thing. Uh, let's put the bioplastic. Yeah, we'll put it in the miscellaneous crate for now. Uh, along with the rocket. Uh, we'll put the two iron over here. We'll put the sulfur in the overflow crate. Flowers and food seed go in here. This food's probably ready to harvest, but I think I'm gonna gonna hold off. No, actually I'm not. Let's just make a massive a bunch of this because we are gonna need it. Oh, inventory's full. Is this completely full? Not now it is. We'll put the rest in overflow. Should put the mushrooms up here too. And the iridium rods can go in hither. Let's check this uh, microchip. Tier two uh, uh, pinning, so that means we can have three recipes pinned now, I think. What's it cost to make that thing? Oh, it needs a methane. We don't have methane yet. Um, or and or zeolite, though I know where to get it. Okay, yeah, we can hold off on that. All right, so I think what we want to do now is make our first tier four drill. Let's put you in there, but we need six of you back. And I think we need three. Oh, no, no, it's the other way around. We need three of you and six of you. Right. Okay. Okay, so these drills are pretty good sized. I'm just trying to think how I want to line them up here. And we'll start with the first one right here. Haha, <laughs> look at that thing. That's awesome. I love it. All right. We're going to take all of these down, reclaim the materials, because here again, it takes almost 30 of these to do the same pressure that just one of these can do. But these are, are using like twice the power as that thing is. So let's take them down. Okay, I'll come back 
come back and pick up all the resources there. This is going to give us a lot of good resources back, actually. We have a full bin of aluminum and then some. And we got a nice little supply of iron back too. Okay, so pressure is doing pretty good now. Uh, what, what's the next thing that unlocks from pressure? Oh, the gas extractor, okay. Uh, we're a bit of a ways off though. We, we, have, we have to get to 100 million parts per A. Uh, before that unlocks. Um, but that won't take too terribly long. It's moving along pretty decently. We could build another one of these. We have the power and we have the osmium, but we don't have the super. Uh, we want to save this one because the next thing we're going to do is put this guy up. But we're going to have to go get algae. So let's go over here. I'm breaking the rules. Breaking the frickin' rules, man. All right. I guess we'll drink that since we have an abundance of water now. It's a nice problem to have. <clears throat> we could do another... Uh, we could do a pressure rocket, too. There's a couple mapping rockets that we need to do at some point, but those aren't really that high of a priority. What am I looking for? I'm looking for cobalt so I can make some more oxygen. All right, now we're good. Let's go fetch some algae. We need a total of 12, I think. I think that's what it was, yeah. Which we might be able to get from this. It's a lot of algae. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yowzers. See, I told you that tier two makes a shit ton of algae. It's very nice. All right, so we need. Uh, two ferts and two bacteria samples. Let's do the bacterias first, and we're going to need waters for those. I think we need three per. Let's grab six. All right, there's our two bacteria. And then we're going to need two sulfur for eggplant. Let's grab the eggplant from the planters. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's grab the sulfur from the overflow. One, two. Just because we can. And then one and two. We now have everything we need. after we grab that, to make the tier two biodome. Okay, so the plan for this guy is to put it, here, let's look out the window for a second. Mm, probably should put it, if we put it directly across from here, it might, I think it might be too close to the base. Let's just try and see what it looks like. That works. Okay, nice. We got ourselves a tier two biodome. And what this does, if you don't know, is it'll generate tree bark, which we're going to need for a lot of different plant based crafting. Uh, recipes and so forth in the near future. 
Okay, good deal. So we got that done. If I could, well, okay, hold on. How close are we to getting this heater? 63. If we boosted our oxygen a little more, we could get to this. Um, I was thinking about maybe making some, some more tier three heaters. And the next heat unlock is going to give us the fusion generator. But I don't, we don't necessarily need that for a bit yet. So I think it'd be better for us to boost our O2 some more to, to get to this faster. And then that'll, of course, we'll start boosting our heat. Um, and flower spreader, tier one flower spreader is our best option for oxygen. What do we need to make those? Here, let's pin it. Ah, oh, shit, we need super alloy. Of course we do. Okay. All right, well, what I think I'm going to do then is... I'm going to start producing fertilizer and then just sitting on it. Um, because we have such an, uh, an you know, uh, an overstock of eggplant. And I'm gonna, and then we're gonna we're gonna need to come up with some super alloy. At some point, the game's gonna start sending us super alloy storms, but I don't remember exactly when those kick in. I think it's it still could be a little ways out. Um, there's gonna be a little bit more super alloy in the labyrinth. I didn't get all of it. I think I've got most of it. And then the next place that we could get... Oh, we haven't gone behind the sand falls. And I think we can get some more osmium there, too. So we could go behind the sand falls to get some of that. And there's also a decent amount of super alloy over at the waterfall. Um, so we, we still have some options, you know, for, for grabbing it by hand. But I think we're going to have to do that in the next episode. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. Isn't it beautiful in here? And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.